Yeah, here I've got a 7225 valve body uh, out of a Mercedes. Uh, pretty rare sort of a transmission at this stage. There aren't too many around. Now I've encountered a bit of a problem here. Now this particular valve or the accumulator is number 49 which is the K2 sensor um, or a damper for the K2 clutch. And there it is. You can see inside there's a little crack. Um, you can see that little white squiggle there. That's a, a crack in there. Now I've tried everywhere to find one of those um, without much luck. Got to buy the whole valve body, um, which may or may not suit. Um, so I'll show you what I've done. There we go. Just made a little cap there. I'll just turn all this off. And that cap, if you have a look, I don't know if the camera will focus on it. Now I've just machined it so it fits snug over that spring. And I've also machined a little little step there so the other spring that sits on it um, so that tension on the spring hasn't been altered too much so you can see when that uh, when that spring well, it goes the other way like that when it's compressed down in the damper and then when it gets down to that other spring section that's where it really gets hard so I was going to glue it in there but I've actually tested it out with it in there with a bit of solvent I'll show you and it's not actually leaking just under its own weight now you can see the springs in there now with that little plate and I'll just fill this up with some clean solvent and that's not pressing very hard on there and it's not actually running away so I've tested it seems to be sealing okay I'll show you without that little cap how quickly it runs out there's with the cap out and it's just running straight out you can see that so that caps enough to just block up that little crack I've checked around the outside of that accumulator it doesn't seem to be cracked for some silly reason it's only cracked uh, right on the inside there you can see it when it's a bit wet now so hard to see okay here we've got a similar sort of problem I've got the on there number 52 which is the B or the front band B1 sensor or damper these things actually do it whole because that shuttles across you can see the size of that spring there and that's the one that's actually cushioning this spring still needs to be in place but because it moves so far down the bore um, what can happen is that spring can fall out and end up on the end of the piston like that so they put this little uh, little I don't know what you'd call it it just holds that spring in place there so the spring can still work but that's actually still holding the spring in here so like I mentioned earlier I can't uh, seem to find these internal parts for the valve body so I'm going to have to make a little sleeve and just you can see you can see in there a bit dark in there that part inside there is all munged out so we're going to get rid of that little pin there that holds that spring and just make a sleeve that holds the spring in the piston this one out of uh, 
piece of aluminium. That's how it's going to sit, that spring just gets stuck on there, so that's going to hold it from like that, and I'm just going to tidy that up a bit, and machine that little broken bit inside there that hold, held that pin there, and then I'm just going to press that in, and that should hold that spring there, probably about to there. Um, I've gone as thin as I could on that wall there, so hopefully it doesn't break when I'm pushing it in. There we go. Just wait for that to focus, or won't focus. I've pressed it in there, and the spring just locates on that little raised bit. There we go. That spring's not going anywhere. So the other spring will sit on, on this side. So when, as that shuttles through, this spring's not going to fall out of place when it comes back. Anyway, I just showed you a couple of things that can be done when you have problems with these braking, like that little piece there. That held that spring in place or the other one that had a leak in it on the accumulator pistons thank you for watching